Welcome back to the Build a Workshop series. Whenever I started building my shop, I did not understand the importance of attic ventilation. I now know that when it's cool overnight and heats up in the daytime, there's going to be condensation buildup on the inside of the building, which is not a good thing. So I am going to be installing a solar powered fan today and it should take care of the excess of heat up in the attic space. On a uh, 80 degree day, the temperature inside is about 80 and the temperature in the attic space is well over 130 degrees. So definitely needs to be vented out of there. One issue that I have is that I did not put enough vents into my soffit material. So I've got a drill with a, I think it's a 3 seconds bit, something small enough to keep all the insects out. And I'm just going to start putting holes into my soffit to uh, hopefully allow more airflow. The components I'm going to be using for the fan are pretty simple. I have a solar panel that is 12 volt, 10 watt. I got this on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description below. The computer fan is one that I pulled from an old computer. It's a 12 volt, 0.68 amp which means uh, the operating amperage of this panel is 0.58, I believe, or 0.56. Um, so it's going to be perfect to run this fan right here. I'm also going to be installing a switch so that whenever I need to um, just turn off the unit, I can just flip that and be no problem. Got some extra wire and some wire cutters. I'm going to be using my gable end vent as the place for my fan. And so I need to be able to get this mounted to the wall. I'm just going to take a piece of three quarter inch plywood. And I'm going to mark a circle here under the fan blades of where I need to cut this out. Okay, so that's what I need to cut out. And I do want to make sure I have enough room on the edge here to uh, mount this. So let's do an inch and three quarter and an inch and three quarter and that should give me enough space there on the edges to get this mounted. So I'm going to cut this out with a jigsaw real quick. I set the fan on this piece of plywood and Conveniently, two inch screws will fit in here really well. Whoops, until you break it. <laughs> it's one of the problems of using an impact driver too strong. Okay, well, I think those three are gonna hold on there uh, well enough. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Fan is mounted to this board and now I can screw into here to get this put onto the wall. Well, I'm discovering it's hard to film and work at the same time up here, so I'll bring you up here in just a minute so you can see what's going on, but I'm gonna use the drill to put a hole through the side of my building so that the uh, solar panel cord can come through. Okay, that should do it. I made sure it was just the right size for that cord. So I won't have to do much caulking. So here's what I have so far. The fan with the red and black wires hanging down. And then the hole right here for the solar panel to come back in. I was taking a look at the solar panel here and thinking, how am I going to get this mounted? Well, uh, I realized that the holes here for the panel are just slightly smaller than this uh, quarter inch bolt. And so what I'm going to do is... Uh, Create my own threads in here. Just pushing down firm and giving it a spin. This way I don't have to buy any special mounting brackets to get this on here. Here we go. It is threading through now. Okay, very cool. Now that will be able to uh, 
withstand any wind that's thrown at it. Now I also have these giant aluminum L brackets, which I actually just cut from an exercise equipment piece from a long, long time ago. Um, so anyway, I'm going to sand this edges down and then use this here on the panel. And that's going to give me a place that I can use something such as this uh, metal channel here. And so I can angle this up into the sun as I need to. Should work out all right. If you don't have a giant aluminum L, you may have to purchase a mount, but for me, I think this is going to work just fine. You could probably make one out of wood as well. Well, it took a lot longer than I was expecting, but I got the mount finished here. And instead of trying to show you every step of my agonizingly long process of figuring this out, I will just show you the finished product. But basically, it will mount here on the wall. Now you may notice that these are different heights, and that's because I'm gonna be mounting this to the side of my building, and I want it to have that angle on there. But let me bring you in a little closer so you can see uh, more of what this looks like. I cut down those two big L pieces of aluminum and mounted that to the panel itself, and I was able to tap that uh, threaded hole, or uh, that hole with the threads, and then I put holes over here and mounted a couple of this uh, uh, square channel. And that went down two different pieces to more of that L. And that's what finally locked this into the wall. So anyway, I have to go out and get this installed. But basically, it's going to go on the wall here. And you can see it gives it an angle towards the sun. You might not be able to see very much, but I'm up here on the 12 foot ladder and I've got the solar panel where I want it. And I'm just using some three inch screws here into the side of my building to get it attached. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Whew. Okay, now I'm going to place the wires through the hole that was drilled earlier. Well, the project is pretty well done. The uh, longer it went on, the less motivated I was to film. So I'm just going to walk you through the final step here and show you everything as completed. Like I had mentioned, I wired in a shutoff switch here. And that just breaks the hot wire, or in this case, the red wire. Let me see if I can get up here without falling off this ladder. So here is the fan. The black wire in the wall is coming from the solar panel. And then it goes down, red wire. Let me go ahead and flip this switch here. Okay, that's killing the power. So as you can see, the fan is just spinning down here. And so the, the red wire goes on to here and the black wire is just from the panel onto the fan. So now it's really cloudy right now. Let's see if this thing will start up. So it requires a certain amount of amperage to get going. And as you can see, it just kind of jumps a little bit and doesn't start. But if I spin this, it'll go ahead and get it started. This is what it looks like from the outside. I just have a hole cut here and I can feel that fan blowing air out. I'm going to come back later with a probably a little box that can have a larger screen area and won't restrict the flow much, as much. And then the solar panel is up here. I know it's terrible to see it against that sky. But uh, anyway, worked out nicely. Now I left a little bit of a, what I call a drip edge here. So that if water comes down, it will find the lowest point and drip off there. Well, I'm going to wait for a nice sunny day, hopefully tomorrow, and I will give you an example of that fan running at full speed. And what I'd like to do is a couple of tests. 
I want to, of course, close up the insulation. Oh, and I'm going to have a little door here for access to this later. But anyway, what I'd like to do is have a nice sunny day where that fan is running at full speed and see if I have the condensation issue that I have up here. Um, hopefully not. And so I've got a couple of thermometers. Let's see. As you can see here. Um, so it's 76 degrees in here right now. Um, so I'm going to put those up there with the probe and it will tell me um, the temperature uh, and I can turn off that fan and see what it raises up to. So it should be interesting. The sun just popped out and this fan is kicking up here. Man, it's really working. <laughs> well, that ought to do it. I just have to make sure I have lots of soffit vent to uh, be able to pull from up top in the insulation like that. One issue I may have is the sound inside. Not sure if you can hear that, but it's quite loud. What I might do is just put a little uh, like a potentiometer on there and turn it down some if it's blowing too loud. Now that I know the fan is working well, I'm going to put this thermometer up here and close back the insulation. And that way I can keep an eye on this and see what the uh, temperature is up top versus here in the building and get an idea on whether or not this fan is pulling out all that hot air. Let's see if you can hear how it sounds in full sunlight. So it's pretty loud. As you can see, it is full sunlight out there. So it may be worth putting a potentiometer on here to slow it down in uh, really sunny days. Let's see what we got here. This looks like 80.9 up there, 73 in here. Let's keep an eye on that and see what we get. After several days of rain, we finally have some sun. It's about 75 degrees outside and rather humid. In here though, it feels cool and um, rather dry. So I can hear the fan running up here. I see no condensation building on the uh, insulation, which by this time with the door closed, normally it would. So let's uh, go up here and check the temperature of both inside and up in the attic space. Okay, let's see what we got here. 66 inside, 72% humidity, 84 up there. Nice. So what I'd like to do is, uh, before we wrap up this video, I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes or so and check this temperature again. Because it's had sun maybe an hour now, so um, normally it would be much hotter than 84. So. Uh, what I want to do is turn off the fan and then see what the temperature gets up to and, uh, and then one more time turn the fan on and see how long it takes to drop that temperature back down. Anyway, so far I'm very pleased with having the solar powered fan up here. It's just a bit loud, but like I said before, I could um, do an inline uh, potentiometer here that I could dial down that temperature. Well, I just gave it another uh, about 30 minutes. Let's see what the temperature is in here. It still feels great inside. Okay, I got 67 in here and 93 up top. So it's jumped about 10 degrees. Uh, it's the hottest part of the day. So this is what I want to do. I want to uh, kill the fan. Okay, and now I want to uh, just see about uh, 15 to 20 minutes from now just how hot it's gotten up there. Okay, it's been 36 minutes. Let's see what we got up here. It's uh, 68 inside and 104 up top. So definitely has climbed. We'll go ahead and turn this back on. and uh, hopefully that will bring the temperature back down some. Well, so far I am very pleased with the results of this solar powered fan. Typically by this time of day, close to one o'clock, 
there would be uh, condensation building on the insulation and there is none. And it's also cooler in here than usual. So this thing is already working. Now I only have about three to four feet of yeah. holes drilled on my soffit material. And so once I get the rest of that done, this fan should be able to pull even more heat out of the attic space. If you know somebody that could use a solar powered fan for their attic, whether it be a workshop or a barn or a chicken coop, then um, share this video with them and on your Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. It helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you so much for watching. Write some good comments down below if you have them. I'd like to read them and I will see you in the next video. Bye.